Hey guys, doing another little video here on the snails again. I know how my videos are like snails, 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 but I just want to show you a little easy way to uh, after you boil them and you get them all boiled up for about three to five minutes and get them all cooked. It all pretty much takes care of all the parasites, and then I'm gonna cook them up and fry them. But uh, people use uh, forks or tweezers to uh, get the snails out of the shell. What I found out very useful, it works for me, is trusty Leatherman's. And my preferred favorite is the Leatherman's Super Tool. Um, I think it's just a great all around, does everything tool. Um, for outdoor applications, it's just great. So I'm gonna show you what I do to get the snails out of their shell. And use the tool here, just squeeze in there, like, almost like tweezers, get a good grip. Ripping it apart. There we go. Didn't get it all out. Might have cooked them a little too long. That's why they're falling apart. Yep. I think that's what happened. Cooked them a little too long. Now they're falling apart in the shell. This one came out a little bit better. That's the one I usually use as the standard Leatherman's, but I like the Super Tool because of all the extra little gadgets that it has. Get you up close here, so you can get that. Get a good hold of the foot there. Oh, that's a big one. Look at that. Mollusk. Not too many this time. I think what I did with those, I ended up uh, overcooking them. That's why they're falling apart. Oh, that's a good one. Look at that. Look at all that snail meat on there. Got a little green slime still. That's okay. As long as you do it a good boil for about, let's say, five minutes max, rolling boil, you can get as ways to get the green slime out. But oh yeah, look at that. Look at all that meat on there. That is gonna be great. Put that on a little stick, a little seasoning, shish kebab. using these Leatherman's. I've been watching the, the new uh, trailer for the new season of Alone, which uh, just started on Thursday, and a couple of the guys opted for choosing Leatherman multi-tools. I think the Super Tool, in fact, uh, I think both of them, I'm not sure, but I know one of the guys opted for the multi-tool, and he did some, uh, he did some adjustments to it, and uh, kind of made it a little bit better. And I just think it's a good choice. I mean, I love fixed bladed knives. I'm kind of a toss up. I love multi-tools, I love small knives, large knives, large choppers, time and place for every kind of blade. Um, most of my blades that I love are Mora, more standard Mora knives, like the classic. But um, I don't know, it'd be kind of tough to choose for what I'd pick or whatever, but I would say a smaller blade, like a multi-tool with a couple blades on there, and then the pliers for doing stuff like this. Uh, it's just got so many different thing, options you can use it for. And, you know, I've used a Leatherman's to skin a squirrel and rabu before, so you don't really need a large blade. I mean, if you're planning on using it for more camp chores, batoning, or processing wood, then yeah, but if you got your wood set up or whatever, you just need a blade for like gutting fish and skinning stuff, uh, Leatherman's will do the job perfect. So I, I don't know, it would be kind of a toss up if I was in that situation I can only choose one blade to take out in the woods. I guess it would depend on where I was going, but uh, all in all, you can't, uh, can't go wrong with the Leatherman's. They get the job done. I've, I think I used this super tool that I got. This was about $50 or more on Amazon. I have two of these one for my work bag, but I use this more than anything like on an everyday basis around my house. So, right, get this little guy out of here. That's the problem when the shells start falling apart. Oh, 
note to self. I think I overcooked some of these guys. This guy didn't really have a shell, so his shell kind of fell off. But I think I got to sort of watch so I don't uh, overcook the snails next time, so it makes it easier to pull out of the shell. I think I did that, and the meat's starting to fall apart on me. But, um, yeah, I'm a big, big fan of the multi-tools, and I was just showing you that with the pliers come in handy. I mostly use this little one, standard, uh, for doing stuff like getting the snails out of shell. So, good, uh, good tool for uh, the bush, for getting out in the wilderness and using a knife or something you could throw in your pocket. So, Leatherman's all the way. Leatherman Super Tool. Yeah. So, just another video showing you how I uh, get the meat out of the shell. So now what the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put them on a skewer and I'm going to put a little fire and pan fry them with a little seasoning and I'm going to cook them up a little shish kebab. So thanks for watching. Uh, this is another version of the Ogre Chronicles, guys.